All right, so we're in our first game of Team Vanquish here on Sandy Shores. Now, it's an interesting one. I've played a little bit of this game, but I couldn't get the recording working. It's Now it's a two-on-two. -two. Very, very slow-paced game. I feel like this one's going to take a while because there is no time limit. But we're going to jump in with a wrestling star. Now, I've had a chance to use this guy. As you can see, I'm already level 10, uh, which would indicate that I actually do quite like using him. I think he's pretty good. What I find you need to do with him, as you can see, I'm hitting fours from over here. But the good thing about this character is that was bang on. Thank you very much, I'll take that. If you can get up close to people, you're going to start hitting 14, 15 points of damage per hit. And that's when you're going to start dropping people pretty quick. Plus, of course, you get the Imp Punt, which is frankly one of the most disgusting abilities in this game. And you also get the Sprint Tackle, which isn't quite as disgusting, but, it, you know, it's up there. And you can see I've changed up the abilities and I'm using the Shield Decoy instead of the normal Decoy because you actually get four of these, and I prefer that, to be honest. Because they're not supposed to fool anyone, they're really just to kind of protect you from imminent death. So we've got a Toxic P in here, we've got a Corn in as well. Um, I want to deal with that Toxic P first. Okay, he's dead as fuck, so never mind him. Let's see if we can sneak up on this Corn. Got an Arctic Trooper, I'll tell you what, you go that way, I'll go this way, and we shall deal with him. Where do you go? Oh, he husk -popped. Okay, that would be why then. So he's down, that's fine. Let's go and see if we can find this P shooter. He's going to be hiding somewhere. I can see the corn again. He's over there. Oh, just going to hide behind here. Just shh, shh, shh. Keep it down. Keep it down. There's two corns. Just oh, there's three corns. Just keep it down. Keep it down. They don't know we're here. They do not know that we are here. There's three corns. And boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> You know, funnily enough, that actually reminds me of something I hit on the first Garden Warfare. Check this out. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. Yep, that was a thing that happened as well. I actually managed to get a quad with a beam bomb, and that's definitely the next best thing I've had since. Triple with an imp punt. This is what I'm talking about. The imp punt is probably one of the cheaper abilities when I'm up against all stars. It's the kind of ability that pisses me off. Which, of course, then means that when I'm playing the All-Star, it's the one that I'm going to abuse more than anything else because I suck at this game, so obviously I'm going to do it. My good friend, the Pea Shooter, is just chilling over there. There's a couple of them and a corn. Okay, I'm going to try and sneak up on them again. Don't think they've seen me just yet. Have they seen me? No, I don't think they have. I'll tell you what. Bang. Imp pun. Okay, we've got a double with that one. I'll take it. There we go. That's another triple kill. We're on eight Vanquish Street. Do you know what? We're absolutely tearing this team a new asshole. I think you two should bow before me because, quite frankly, I am carrying the team right now. Did I see a Citron over there? Or am I just imagining things? I think I'm... Yeah, I'm just imagining things. Never mind. So it looks like they're heading back up top again. Well, I know they're heading back up top because that's where they always seem to be. There's a couple of peas up here. Oh, there was the one pea. He's down. Where are the corns at? Don't know where the corns are. Okay, there, oh no, there was a Citron. Okay, so I wasn't imagining things. Maybe I'm slightly more clever than I thought I was. Okay, this, this Citron's just fucking with our team, so let's deal with him. He's down. Gonna do the infamous Imp Punt. That is swiftly gonna be the end of that pea shooter. So maybe you're starting to get an idea of how I got this character to level 10 so quickly now. This is pretty much how. Oh, there you go. That's the end of him. He was trying to revive the old Toxic P. Not having that for one second. Okay, he's back up there again. Is he in the top? Is he in the P Gatling? He is definitely in P Gatling form. I'll tell you what, this is our open opportunity. There you go. He is down. Sneak up here because I suspect there might be corns. Ah, uh, no, it looks like they're all dead. Oh, come on. You could have revived the dead bit at least. Come on, it's Captain Flameface. Oh. Did he just get a laggy revival, or did he just respawn there? I honestly haven't got a clue. Trying to search around. Oh, there's a cactus. Good. That's uh, that's a free kill if ever I saw one, but he's already dead. And a chomper as well. Wow. Oh. Bringing in all the plants today. Chomper can sit down straight away. In fact, you even get a cheeky little taunt just for your trouble. I think P over here is going to go down. Okay, let's just chuck an in for you. There you go. You're done. It's so cheap, I know. I'm sorry that I keep using it. It's just, it's, it's almost addictive. Because you know that if you throw it and it lands anywhere near them, they are dying straight away. It's going to get a few hits on you. Tackle. Apparently he didn't die. Okay, now I'm in trouble. Now I'm in... Uh, yeah. Yeah, that happened. We're on 46 points. So despite this being a rather small lobby, we've actually managed to build up enough points to end the game. 
Albeit it's taken quite a while. Citron, die. Okay, this one's got slightly more health, so it looks like the imp hunt's not enough to one-shot him, but he is the only one, so... Is this him over here? Is this our guy? This is definitely our guy. You're dying. Now, now. Sit down, sit down. Bruh. How can you steal that kill off me? What is wrong with you? I needed revenge on him, okay? It's a personal matter, and you just had to dive in and scrounge the kill off me. Like some little opportunist. <laughs> Not speaking for myself at all. There's the end of the first game. It was a close one. Very close one. But 15,000 coins from a game of Team Vanquish. You know you've had a good game when you get 15k from a Team Vanquish. So let's see exactly what we did there. Let's see, 24 and 8. Not too, too bad. We've got a 10 Vanquish streak amongst that. And well, we got most of the boasts ourselves. So I'm happy with that game. Apparently we have, uh, well it was a 3 on 1, now it's a 3 on 2. It's, uh, we got that one defused, that's fine. So we actually are playing some Gnome Bomb this time. I was going to play some Turf Takeover, but apparently I cannot get into a game of Turf Takeover and get on the plant side. Not on the plant side, on the zombie side. Apparently it just can't happen. I'm destined to be on the plant side in that game mode, so we're going to be playing some Gnome Bomb instead. Okay, Gnome spawned. Let's go and get it. Let's get it. Oh... If there was a boast in this game for the biggest fucking idiot out of everyone in the lobby, do you know what? I would be getting it very consistently. There you go, nicely done. Oh, there's another corn. Yeah, we're in trouble. Okay. Let's just stick all of those up to get in his way. And oh, he's going to try and defuse. Come on, let's kill him, let's kill him, let's kill him. There you go, he's down. Nice. Well defended. I'm pleased with myself. Let's just throw that. One damage. Brilliant. Bang, bang. There you go. Thank you very much. Let's go down. Well, let's just drop dead. Let's do that. That's a good start. And they've planted again. Okay. Okay, just killed him mid husk hop. Do you know what? Not too bad. Let's go and blow him up. Let's defuse this. Don't shuck shot me. Don't shuck shot me. There we go. Well played. Take this guy out. <laughs> Maybe might have been a bit opportunistic on that one, but nah, do you know what? Just... Oh, he's coming up. Boom. Eat that. Eat my shorts. That is the face of a defeated man right there. So we're doing pretty well so far. Looking like, unless they can defuse it, we might be going 2-0 up. Come on, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it is 2-0. Okay, so now we just got to wait for the last name to spawn, and then we will go and end this game. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I've lost count of how many times I've done that in this episode. It's so bad, I know. I'm not entirely sure where their last point is. I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Right. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way over there. Okay. Well, nice to see we're nice and close to it. Oh, we've got 51 seconds to get there. Come on, we can do this. No, fuck off, 5P. Get out of here. No, 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 no. Just let me get there. Just let me get there. Just let me plant it. No. No. I'm going to plant it. I don't even care if you defuse it. Just let me... No. Oh. Could you not have at least let me plant it and then killed me afterwards so that I could at least get a few points? I don't even know if you get points for planting it. I presume you probably do. Okay, got a couple of corns. I'm sorry. Oh, I feel really bad every time I do it. Oh, my accuracy is on point. Do you know what? I deserve to die there. I absolutely 110% deserve that. That is exactly how not to kill someone. Failing 101 with Wolf and Plays. Paleontologist here. Did have the bomb and then he got blown up. Got dead bit over here, just reading the porn mag. Sorry. Sorry. I wouldn't be surprised if I got hate mail after this, honestly. I've killed him with imp punts so many times. Did I just get killed by another bean bomb? For fuck's sake. Seems like every time I'm about to kill him, he just manages to get down that sombrero nuclear fucking atomic bomb. So stand, all stand in front of it and pose for the camera. There you go. Just get a nice close-up of my face. 19 and 7, though, we didn't do too badly. Do you know what? I think I should get Vanquish Master as well, because we did both get 19. So I think we should be sharing that boast. But do you know what? I will take the moral high ground on this one, and I will let you have it, because I am the bigger man. Please don't pay attention to any of that bullshit that just came out of my mouth. So, final thoughts on the wrestling star. Well, to be completely honest with you, he is easily... Okay, he is easily the best all-star that I've used so far. Put it this way, I have had this guy for like a day... And bearing in mind, I never play all-stars, and I've already got him to a specialist level 6. 
that would probably indicate that, you know, I've enjoyed using him a little bit. If you are an all-star player and you haven't tried out this guy, then you definitely need to try out this guy. He is good. There is my final seal of approval. This idiot recommends the wrestling star. But of course, the episode does not end there. We have a phenomenal character pack to open. So let's get to the pack and let's find out who is going to be starring in the next episode of Pack and Play.